Hey, it's Phil here at Harris Automotive. We're in the middle of replacing this engine on this 2014 Mercedes-Benz E350. I've been getting a whole lot of questions in the comments saying, why am I replacing the engine opposed to doing the timing? That's a very good question. We're doing what's more cost effective today for the customer. Let me explain. If you come on over here, the reason why we're doing this engine, number one, the timing chain was actually bad. It has looseness with the timing chain. So this is gonna need a timing chain. But the main reason is this cam, the intake cams, for some reason, just the intake, any of my Mercedes-Benz guys, drop in the comments why this problem only happens with the intake. You have this pickup wheel right here. So what happens over time, this pickup wheel, it loses position. This is actually pressed on to the cam. It's not welded or nothing. So what happens over time, instead of this point staying lined up here, this point will actually move over here You'll get a check engine light for cam timing and you'll get a long crank. So let's talk about the price wise. Let's talk about the prices of these parts and I can move on and show you what I'm talking about. Each cam, the, the intake cam on both, on this engine, both sides have this issue. So now an intake cam itself is roughly around $1,000. You're gonna need two of these. You also, if you're doing the cams, you're gonna do your timing gear. These are also known to go bad. These timing gears are roughly between 11 and 